YouTube, it's your boy Don's Dress back with another video. Today we're reacting to Madden 23 official gameplay trailer, Feel Sense Deep Dive. I hadn't seen the trailer at all yet, so I kind of want to look at this deep dive. A lot of my friends was talking talking this trailer up crazy. Like, Madden's really doing a lot of improvements for 23. You got to check it out, bro. So you know what? I wanted to check it out, but I'm going to check out the deep dive versions because... And like reacting to regular trailers, it's stuff I might miss. So I kind of want to hear somebody like break down what I'm watching. And this is officially, this is about the official EA channel. So let's get right into the video. With the goal of giving players more control over the games they play, we built a new foundation for gameplay in Madden 23 that we're calling Field Sense. And let's be real though. Every, is it just me? Uh, every year, like 2K, Madden, sports games in general, we're building this new engine from the ground up, and it'd be the same thing. Is it just me? I might be tweaking, but I really think every year, like 2K, Ronnie 2K, Mike Wang, the Madden devs, we really built this, this new mechanic from the ground up. And when you play the game, is it really that much different from the previous? New physics-informed animation and animation branching technology provide the foundation for consistent, more realistic gameplay designed to produce a variety but of authentic... That is something I will give Madden 22, the next-gen version of Madden 2020... Uh, Madden 22, that they... They really, um... They really hit... They really hit the nail on the head when it comes to movement. The movement was much more realistic... Compared to the current gen version. The current gen version, you got somebody beat, no way they catch you. Next gen, it's like that stamina bar moves realistically. And the player movement itself is also very realistic. Results on every play. Field sense affects gameplay in every mode. It comes to life in Madden 23 in four major ways. Through new control mechanics that we're calling hit everything, skill-based passing, 360 cuts, and wide... Skill-based passing. Skill-based passing. Like, I struggle with passing on Madden 22, so. Apparently, this next Madden is not really, it's, it's you're going to really have to take your time and learn it. Skill-based passing? 360 cuts and wide receiver versus DB battles. Wide receiver DB ba battles. Okay. In Madden 22, you can predict the outcome of a play based on the animation that was triggered. Thanks to Field Sense, in Madden 23, we can dynamically branch out of tackling, catching, and blocking interactions so you can change the outcome until the play is over. We've captured over 3,500 new animations covering an array of different- So basically every moment of the play counts. Like, like with Madden 22, oh well, he got that animation. It's a catch. Apparently they're saying with 23, every moment in the game counts. Interactions. That's what I like when to we see. say that field sense gives you the control to hit everything on defense, we mean everything. Essentially, this new defensive gameplay approach gives you more ways to make stops from every position on every play. With hit everything, you can hit the pile and generally cause mayhem anywhere on the field in pursuit of the ball. That should have been a thing. All the mind. action is driven by physics. I'm not gonna lie. See different outcomes to we. I know a lot of the Madden play communities probably hyping that up. I, I'm happy they finally did it too. But realistically, that's probably should have been a thing. ...on the players involved. As a linebacker, you can swiftly evade blockers or blow up blocks in pursuit of the quarterback. And with the addition of the new mid-air tackling system, it'll change the way our tackles? players defend the okay. passing game. In the NFL, there's no one way to defend the pass. Sometimes nope. DBs play the ball, and some situations demand that you get physical and play, yeah, the, receiver. play the receiver. With sometimes. Field Sense, Madden 23 brings all that action to life, putting you in control. Force midair knockouts at the point of the catch. Hold on, was that a catch meter? Like you gotta skill basically make the pass and skill base try to come in and make the catch. Ooh, I'm a stuck hit on, on a receiver to force a drop. I suck at Madden. Push your receiver out of bounds before he can get his feet down. Hit everything. Also introduces. That's a good. Step. Like I could force. Like he gonna catch the ball in the end zone, but I could force him out of bounds. Like. 
You know how many situations I wish that was a thing in Madden 22, but it's not? Tackle mechanic that gives you the ability to control the result of two man tackles. A huh? defender can hold up the ball carrier in an effort to buy time for a teammate to move in and make a play on the ball. Or oh, you, the ball you can carrier come in and make them force them to, to gain extra yards. All of this creates a more authentic gameplay environment where you're actually like playing that. to the very end of every play. We felt they that in Madden 22, in that. while you Making had some control over ball play. placement, too much of the outcome was left up to the game and not the player. With skill-based passing in Madden 23, you've got the control to put the ball exactly where you want, just like Patrick Mahomes. With this new mechanic, we're okay. revamping our pass leading from the ground up to enable throws that you just couldn't make in the game before. With just a left thumbstick, you've got the control to put the ball exactly where you want. This gives you the freedom and creativity to really change up the passing game. You can drop throws into tight windows, you can you place the ball away the from pass? the defensive back, like, that just and take shots downfield with accurate lie. back shoulder passes, and Some end zone corner fades feels... to the pylon. Yeah, like a lot of this stuff is cool, but it's, it, it seems very complicated. Place the ball in a corner I already... or drop it in. My bad. I already run the ball a lot in Madden. I definitely gonna run the ball a lot next year. A deep vertical run, all with the same risk and reward of elite NFL QBs. Skill-based passing is a game changer for all skill levels. In Madden 22, running the ball using the left stick lacked total control. At times, players would get gradual banking turns versus sticking a foot in the ground and making a hard cut, leading to situations where you just couldn't make a play and pick up those extra yards. The new 360 cut mechanic in Madden 23 lets you utilize L2 and the left stick for more freedom when controlling the ball carrier. I'm now you can precisely hit the gaps as you see them from any position, for whether sure. you're a running back, a quarterback on the run, receiver after a catch, or if you're returning a kickoff or interception. 360 cuts offer total control. In face of the franchise, you can play out your NFL career at one of five different positions, including wide receiver and defensive back. And while the new 1v1 battles are available in every mode, this is where it really comes to life. Yeah, I'm about to say, the new branch and receiver coming. footwork delivers more control when battling with DBs. Like, uh, We've added a whole new suite of wide receiver mode. release moves and open field cuts that empower players to create separation from the secondary. With these new open field cut moves, you now have the ability to get creative and fake out the DB. To counter, DBs have new press mechanics so you can battle on both sides of the ball. How you position yourself like as a DB that. is going to influence your ability to lock up a receiver off the line. We built this year's game to empower players in a number of ways. We're just getting started with a new foundation for gameplay through field sense in Madden 23. Hey, are y'all pre-ordering Madden 23 or y'all going to wait till it come out? I typically always wait before I play Madden. So, yeah, I might I might have to wait, see like what the reviews say. Then I'll make my decision or even wait till like whenever it comes on EA Access, then I'll probably play it then or EA Play and then play it then. Anyway, please sure like, comment, subscribe. Comment your thoughts on Madden 23. Did y'all like Madden 22 even?